Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us here on Fox 9. I'm Jay Bates. A BSU graduate and U.S. Army lieutenant continues his recovery in a San Antonio hospital after losing both legs in an attack in Afghanistan. Friends here in Boise are doing their very best to make a difference for the family in need. Karen Lair has tonight's big story. Micah and Lindsay Anderson met through mutual friends at BSU more than four years ago. They celebrated their two-year wedding anniversary this July, but from a hospital intensive care unit. It was like the worst phone call to ever receive. Um, you know, everything, I had just talked to him a couple days before, and then you get a phone call from the Army saying, your husband's been hit with an IED and he's lost his legs. All we know is that he's alive, and that's all they could tell me. Just a week before this haunting phone call, Micah Skyped with Lindsay during the birth of their son, Jay. While in Afghanistan, Micah stepped on an IED and immediately sustained life-threatening injuries. He was taken to a hospital in Germany. And then they gave us a call a day later and said, you need to come to Germany. Right then, with my military experience, I already knew that that was a, you're coming to say goodbye. And so it got very hard and very emotional. Micah was soon transferred to a hospital in Texas where he spent months in intensive care battling infections. His wife remains by his side nearly every day and helps baby Jay see his dad at least once a week. Family and friends gathered today at the Indian Lakes Golf Club in Boise to raise money for the family's living expenses. Lindsay says eventually they'll need to get a specialized car for Micah with hand controls. And since her current full-time job is taking care of baby Jay and her husband, all donations are truly appreciated. Um, we both agreed that you know he's, he's doing pretty good right now and he just wanted me to come back and say thank you to everybody. Lindsay and Micah's brother Justin are both optimistic for what the future holds. Hopefully eventually walk and move around again and be the first to do many things and he will be the first to do many things with the amount of injury he suffered. Micah will remain in the hospital for several months but plans to get prosthetic legs and is even talking about trying a triathlon. In studio, Karen Lair, Fox 9 on your side.